Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Da Do Run Run by the Crystals. And we end up cabling this on third fret to match the recording, but we're going to start out on a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is the B on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And on the intro part, actually, it's almost like a big vamp on the C chord. You may want to kind of work just down through that. And you could kind of mute it with the right hand, and that can make it kind of sneaky. Or a lot of times with a song like this, I like to use something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we tried that a lot on the C. You'd have down, down, up, down, 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 kind of work for the intro. And then from there, we go into our verse part. And our verse starts on C. But then we go to an F major chord. I'm talking about an easy way to play this, but if you know the bar F, you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string, third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And I could substitute that into something called F major 7, where you do your first finger on the B string, first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the D string, third fret, and if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major 7 chord. It sounds really, really groovy, happy. And then from the F, we're going to be going to a, to a G major chord. We play G major. First finger goes to the A string on the 2nd fret. 2nd finger on the low E string, 3rd fret. And the 3rd finger on the high E string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. And then from the G on the verse, we go back to C major. So you can kind of work that as kind of, kind of the A down idea. C, A. G, C, or if you're digging on the down, down, up, up, down, you have C, down, up, up, down, 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 up, and then from that verse, then we go into our chorus part, and our chorus starts on the C, and then we go to F, and then we go back to C, and then we go to G, and then we go back to C, and then an F, and then a G, at the end of our course, there's kind of this cool little buildup where you could stay on the C major chord, and you'll kind of hear where the drummer kind of does this ta 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 idea, which is a triplet idea. And what a triplet is is where you're, if you're tapping your foot of the beat, right now our down down up up down is kind of dividing that into two parts. So one two one two. What a triplet is is where you divide that into three parts. So like one two three one two three one two three one two three, and you can kind of do that as a down up down up. So if you're kind of digging on that, that could be a cool way to kind of build up a lot of energy on this last C before you come back in on the verse. Now the weird part is to play along with the crystals though, instead of starting on a C chord, they're starting on an E flat major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on third fret, then now your C is really an E flat major, your F is really an A flat major, and your G is really a B flat major. But we could kind of start off with kind of that intro with just that C chord, C. Or you could do the down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, kind of through that intro. And then from there we go into our first verse. So we'd have our C, F, G, C. Or you can even take those two ideas and kind of mix them up. Into our chorus part. So we got our C, F, C, G, C, F, G, C. I want to hit those triplets. And then we'd be going into our next verse. Now one other thing I think about adding to the song though is bass notes, and a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you could throw in a bass for the chord. So on the C you'd have the A for the bass, on the F bar you'd have the low E for the bass, on the F major seven you'd have the D for the bass, and on the G you'd have the low E for the bass. So we tried our next verse with basses, we'd have C with an A bass.
of how you can strum through the do run run by the crystals. So good luck. <laughs>